it's time to remember, Henry. Time to remember your family. Time to remember your past. And most importantly, it is time to remember me. It's about time for a little game to begin. I wonder how far you'll survive. And I wonder if you will be able to discover all the memories that you've kept in the back of your mind. This will be very intriguing to watch, to say the least. It's, it's me, Jake. Well, it's not really me, it's more like a conscious form to help you by whatever monster created this nightmare. But that's not the point right now. Uh, the point is that I'm here to help you through this nightmare until it's over. In case you don't know where you are, you're at Treasure Island. Or, or, or at least it's an exaggeratingly horrifying version of Treasure Island. And each hour there's going to be a creature coming after you to try and kill you. And you will die in the real world if you die in this nightmare, so I, I, I would listen if you want to live through this. This hour, uh, 10 p.m., houses a creature that I'm assuming you are familiar with. In fact, I'd say that all these creatures are based off of things from your childhood. Uh, more specifically, your love of Disney. So, this hour's creature is none other than, well, Mickey Mouse himself. Now, I want to warn you that this is not the same Mickey that you're used to seeing. This version is deformed, disturbing, and all, all of his limbs are separated from his body, like they've been torn apart or something. He is uh, currently in the storage areas, and you can only see the storage area through your camera system, which can be opened up by hovering over the little button for the cameras. He starts out on camera one, in the storage closet, which is out of your sight, but he will move out and make his way for the room you're in right now, your office. When he's in camera two, you must run over to the hallway that he would be in and shine your light in his eyes to make him go back to camera one. You can also go into more rooms if you go to the left of your office and run over to the hallway. Uh, the rooms past there hold many things that you'll have to take care of later, but uh, for now you'll just have to take care of Mickey and your heart rate. Your, your heart rate will increase whenever you're near one of these creatures, and if it gets too high, you'll die. The only way to bring it down is by staying near the Mickey doll in the first room past the left hallway. I'm guessing you're fond of that doll since it's uh, your only real protection from a, a high heart rate. But other than those two things, that's that's it for right now. Please stay safe, Henry. I want you to be able to make it through this. Good luck. Good luck.
Thankfully, it seems you're all right. We've lasted the first hour, so uh, congrats on that. Now, let's get back to business. It seems whenever I talk to you, time freezes, meaning that the creatures can't move farther than they already have. Uh, but it also means that the actual clock isn't going by either, so uh, I'll make this as brief as I can. This hour brings with it Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, who I'm assuming is another one of your Disney favorites. Uh, like Mickey, he's deformed with his arms missing, his legs and head split from his body. Uh, it also seems that he doesn't have a mouth, but he has two glowing white eyes, which can really help you because of what his mechanic is. He'll appear on one of the cameras from cam 3 to 7 at a random time. And he'll make a small audio cue when he's active, so you really have to listen. When he's appeared, find which camera he's on and watch him until he goes away. If you don't do this, he will kill you. So please be careful. Listen for when he becomes active. Besides that, the only other issue is that Mickey is becoming faster with each passing hour, so you're gonna have to pay more attention to him as the hours go by. But that should be all for now. Just be careful. Watch your heart rate. Good luck.